Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.12 Voidforged. Last time we picked up a couple vessels uh, and then met lots of people by trading for communications. This kicked off the galactic community formation because one empire, namely us, had met a sufficient fraction of the total number of empires. Um, we also kind of have been filling out the, the corners and gaps in our territory. Um, we got Dyson Swarms and are working on our first one, I think. Um, here? Yep. Um, the we, we finished up Prosperity, um, picking up Synthetic Age, and kicking off the Transformation situation. Um, now, uh, yeah, so, so we're making progress towards ch the choice between the new Machine Ascension Paths, and that should finish in about eight years. Um... And then I, I'm, I'm contemplating war here to subjugate these guys as well. Uh, looking at their diplomatic weight, they have 75 fleet power. And it's one point of fleet power per 40 points of um, naval strength. So they probably have around like 3k. Uh, we have four and a bit. We have... Um, Hyperdrive 2 coming up. Uh, maybe maybe when Hyperdrive 2 is up, maybe we go fight them. I don't know. Um, and then we're, we're contemplating trying to get into this Federation. I don't know if it'll happen. Getting into Federations is a uh, tricky business. But, um, yeah, so that's... Uh, we did we picked up another district on our capital, which we'll use for science. Our raw resource situation is fine. Um, we could make we could use more alloys, maybe. I understand that Dyson Swarms have alloy um, upkeep. But we're, you know, Mega Forges are, are so we'll once that is done, we'll build more districts probably. But um, and we also started experimenting with rub moddings. Now we have some cold adapted uh, robots coming online here to do research more efficiently. Um, I wonder how much it would cost us to. Interesting. I can't Robomod because I have no planets in the Robomod menu. That's new. Hmm. All right. Well, um, maybe maybe uh, getting modularity online will fix that, but we'll see. Or it just doesn't like the pause. Oh. Huh. Maybe there will be a bug report in my future. Technological acquisition successful. Um, these blockers or fortresses, I uh, don't really. Yeah, that's fine. Technological acquisition successful. Research alternatives would be pretty good, uh, given the the slower, like tech draw speed. Agenda ready. Okay, so we still have some jobs here. Um, maybe we might. Yeah, we, we can still pick up more districts. Or more max districts. Uh... So maybe we build over this deposit and then like one or two other majors. It's kind of alloy expensive, but...
promising nanotech discoveries. Okay, so we got we know we have a, a nanite deposit on our capital. Alert, non-standard space entity encounter. I don't know that we'll find a use for them, Communications but alert. And it, this was a, a counter example. I had thought that maybe it was doing um, the anomalies like in order of increasing difficulty, but uh, looking at this, I'm wondering if it's just working down the list, like in the order they were discovered. Research channels, sure. Gestalts generally do quite badly with uh, Charter of Workers' Rights, because we have very poor um, diplo weight from Pops, and it just doesn't help us. Don't want mercenaries. A lot of the stuff I don't care about. Uh, regulated growth, I think, would be bad for us as well. Well, uh, yeah, ac actually, yeah, that would, that would be great, because uh, we're not very big. Our empire size from systems is small, and we have vessels, so loyalty would be good. Modularity. Um... I don't know how much liquid metal we'll actually need from the deposit versus what we produce ourselves. Uh, I don't think I want to sacrifice a bunch of drones for it. Um, am I working on any anything particularly critical in society? Not really. Um, we, we can just kind of go with the medium. Because modularity will let our... Uh, fabricators produce liquid metal, which I think will be plenty for our needs, but we'll see. Uh, shoot, I, I forgot about the liquid metal edict. That was the, kind of the whole point, um, was being able to use liquid metal um, to speed up our megastructure progress, which might put us out of balance. Uh, okay, destroyers versus purification plants. Um, it's 2250. We should probably get destroyers. We have an industry guy. We'll probably draw purification plants again. It does suck to pass it up, though. Where are minus amenities? I wonder, there may be a couple of planets. I was I was watching the previous video. There were, were a couple places where our amenities um, were a little bit off, and it was pulling our stability down. It's not where, yeah, here, for example. It's not where I want to be. Uh, I bet the amenities edict went offline. That's probably where, where this came from. We do. We, we would like a hunter seeker, please. Yes. That. <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't need it. We're only at 20%, not 30%, but. complete. Um, right, I wanted to build maybe some more orbitals here. Technological acquisition successful. Fortresses. Um... Starbase cap could be good for either more energy or more uh, naval capacity. Fleet command limit would make life a little easier, right? Because currently our naval cap is 70 and our fleet command is only 40. But two fleets is also not bad to manage. So. And we forgot to put afterburners on, I noticed. Ship augmentations completed. I guess if a destroyers are about to come out, we could do destroyers instead. 
Situation but... log adjusted. And really, this is like the the one I really wanted to do sooner than later because uh, that will let us colonize the planet. Um, more sensors might be nice. Uh, fire control isn't going to be useful for a while. Detection arrays. I'm not super worried about AI cloaking. We'll want it eventually, but. So, I don't think we can actually take these traditions yet. Yeah, we have to wait for the situation. So, we're just going to sit here and bank um, Unity. Which is weird, because... Okay, so we get, yeah, 0 0.8 living metal per month on uh, the capital now. It's a weird design decision to move back to having a situation for... Or, or to move back to a, this setup, where you bank Unity after you take the Ascension perk for a while. And then... Once the tradition is open, we're going to have enough to probably... I mean, it's been, what, like, three years? Um, so we'll have enough unity for two or three traditions. This one, I want to go go for hard, because uh, there is a advanced machine trait that modularity can get that... Um, yeah, we still can't scan apply tablets. Um that relies on dark matter. A lot of subjugation and um, extension to this federation out all the way over here. Interesting. Um, and, and the dark matter trait in modularity is ridiculous. It's like plus 60% job output, which is just crazy. But it has dark matter upkeep. It's like, okay, well, let's get as much dark matter as we can. And I think the virtuality thing gives dark matter, like a dark matter deposit on the capital. Technological acquisition successful. Good God. Cruisers, star fortresses, gas extraction wells. Um, we just built all these Corvettes. Have we actually finished building all the Corvettes? Uh, pretty close. And we don't have hangers, so we don't, there's not a whole lot of use for cruisers at this point. Construction complete. Okay, so they would let us in. Almost. Um, we should do this war before that, though, if we're going to do it. Oh, and, and the, okay, so the Dyson Swarm, like, initial layer finished. Um, that was quick. Uh, star upload 15, okay, so for an extra 10 alloys a month of upkeep, we would get Um, so it was like 15, and now it's like 75. Uh, so an extra 10 alloys a month would get us another 150, I think? Or we could, or we could hold the unity. Yeah, we don't need the energy right now. We could hold on to the, how, how long is it a good time? Three years. We could hold on to the unity and save it for modularity traditions. But it is, it sure is tempting, though. This one, though, is... You know, it would be like plus 50 physics per month, which is a fair bit. That That's, yeah, um, that won't be worth doing. Okay. Right, so you finished that. Let's pull you back away from where the fighting will be. Oh, I interrupted by the autosave. And then uh, let's, let's muster some armies. So that this works.
across species. Okay, we cannot modify species while we have ongoing ascension situation. I wonder if that's also why we can't apply the template. Um, embassy, sure. What did I just upgrade that I didn't? Okay. Something moved. We do want ready shield though. Can we oppose that. Communications alert. Yeah, if we can get three vessels plus us, and there are three of them. I, actually, you know, I don't know if federations, like, give vessels votes now by default. That might not be standard anymore. So our energy situation is fine. We could use more allies, though. Our, our surplus per month is down. Situation log adjusted. They do have uh, star holds. They're approaching 4k fleet power. They're building up a little bit, I think. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. Technological acquisition successful. Um, I don't like these. I don't really care about those two. Yeah, very few of those blockers. I guess we'll take the influence on envoys. And this is tier two or uh, three. I don't know. But like, it, it's expensive and decently high tier. So. Okay, so we got half a point of dark matter and twenty energy on our capital as a deposit. And I think this also means that we can... Can we buy Dark Matter? I don't know. Do we have to, like, wait for the month to take over so we actually have a... Okay, yeah, so we can we can buy Dark Matter. So that's probably how we will end up funding um, the... Uh, using mass drivers. Uh, that doesn't... Station, station loadouts don't tell you much. Situation log adjusted. The game's confused. It's like, why haven't you finished the precursor yet? And it's like, well, we're doing all the um, anomalies before any of the special projects. We're going to go modularity. Nano machines, I mean, would plausible, right? We have enough with the tomb worlds, um, but I think we'll do. And, and virtual is just super duper tall. So, yeah, we'll do. Hostile Much stationary better. asset engaged. Well, this might be their main fleet. That's a couple K of Corvettes. They have torpedoes. That's not going to help you against a Corvette fleet. We took a few losses. Not too much. I don't know why they chose to engage there rather than waiting on top of their starbase. That's a weird decision. Council agenda ready. Hostile fleet assets engage. I 
How much armor or strength are we dealing with here? 270. Oh, there. It's a lot of unemployment. That's odd. Is this like syncretic or something? Hmm. How much army we got? 700-ish. So another, another round. Okay, here's their fleet coming back out of emergency FTL with some armor damage. Some reasonable damage there, I think. We probably, yeah, we could, um, what's the, uh, no, no, we don't want to go that far. Let's just hang out here a minute. Nope. Eventually the star, the star base will flip and we'll be able to heal off of it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth a one-time deposit of living metal as opposed to just speeding up the situation and We could send the small fleet after that. Alert station engage. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engage. Did they go in yielding too? No, don't go to the, okay. My mistake. I gave bad orders. It's okay. We could maybe pincher them here. Maybe they, I don't know where they'll go. Whether they'll come back here. It'd be quite a move. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So the. Megacorp here split, and the Rebels joined the Federation. Interesting. Continuing to grow our tech and um, unity output. Our energy is fine, particularly with the uh, dice and stuff. We might want to think about gas wells at some point, but I'm not sure where exactly we put them. Alert station engage. I don't think they'll use the hegemon cast ability against us. What's the crime there? Still, still a little waste on crime. Okay, so they came back this way and engaged into us. Stationary asset engaged. That was more annoying than destructive.
Let's escort the armies in. Start landing. Okay, so this... Well, now we get to do modular traditions. I wonder, does it give us like the first one free? It does, so it gives us the starter for free. Um, and now we have 27k. So we have almost two traditions banked up. Um, so that's kind of like the mandatory first pick. And then pop assembly from replicators. This node is quite interesting, I think, uh, with coordinator output bonuses. I don't think we get coordinators from our capitals. We get evaluators. Um, but it, it yeah, uh, where'd it go? Okay, right, we don't actually have enough. We're close, though. Um, warrior drone stuff doesn't matter too much, and then maybe maybe we go this branch first. I don't know that I really need a whole lot of extra pop assembly right at this minute. It's a lot, though, and that gives us a little time to bank up some living metal. I don't know what our ratio of replicators to fabricators is. We might, yeah, it might, be, it might get interesting. Market is fine. Technological no, let's, let's, acquisition successful. I don't want to make them angry because we want to get another bed. Um, yeah, I like Energy Nexus. I don't know if we actually need that right now with the Dyson Swarm. What other options? But yeah, the other options are not not great. So. Um, I think Admiral. I think that's mostly what we want out of out of our military leaders. I mean, let's, let's see if I can, can I change now? Okay, right, so I think it was just the transformation situation that was preventing me from doing um, pop modding. I don't know that we want to necessarily modify all the pops on the Tundra world. 5K? Hmm. Versus, I mean, what, what is that in months? Uh, like two year, uh, five? 5,000, yeah, like 25 months, two years, something like that. Um, so yeah, or, or we could just finish out Star Fortress. Hostile fleet assets engage. Oh, that was some good damage. All right. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Um, this one gives you a happiness penalty for ignoring, and I don't care about that. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Technological acquisition successful. Um... These are both tier two or three. Um, I don't care about claim. I mean, we're fine on war exhaustion. I'm not planning to fight a whole lot more wars. Units have achieved all objectives. How much do we lose army-wise? Oh, not much. Fungal emitters. Is this... Hmm. 
I didn't realize there was a, a long-term follow-up on the fungus event chain. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Communications alert. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay, um, yeah, I don't really want either of these. We'll take more industry, I guess. Defense platform stuff. Defense platform and starbase stuff. Power projection stuff. Base intel level I like. Did you already do the... Marauders... I guess we could just build research labs at this point. Where did my army go? Okay. I, I, maybe I missed that it was already occupied. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Pacification protocols initiated. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Hostile stationary asset engaged. acquisition successful. So they're not going to be loyal, um, if ever. Some interesting options. Cold fusion, maybe. I don't think we need UV laser to get disruptors, so I kind of don't care. Chemical plants. Well, we already have... What's our mode situation look like? It's it's okay, but if we want to scale up more, we'll need more. Um, complexes, I feel like, get drawn a lot, whereas chemical plants, if you skip it, you might not see it for a while. Hmm... Our minerals are dropping as we scale up alloys a bit. Maybe we do the habitat thing. Or we do that one. That'll be quick and give us a little more pop assembly. acquisition successful. Um, this is the one that lets you terraform had planets. Yeah, 
that's a tough choice between the civic slot and adaptation, but again, I feel like this one gets drawn less often. Um, habitation modules, or the, yeah, the next level of mana plants. We're full on alloys. That's a... and influence. So, uh, I'm not playing Void Dweller very well, is what that means, but... Um... We could just start throwing habitats down everywhere. Is that a molten world? It is. Hmm. Molten worlds. Are, molten worlds are interesting now. I know your your job was building building slots. But, uh, shoot. Yeah, or or we do build the we could build the um the furnace there just to kind of see what happens or how it interacts with uh, habitats, and we'll build the habitat there later. Um, you're idling. This was also quite a system to. Does this have more stuff or less stuff than the one as far as the forge goes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven total bodies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, I think this one will be better for that. Um, here we'll just build a regular habitat command. And maybe we'll build this after just to see what happens with that. If it like if it adds deposits on bodies where you already have habitat stuff. Okay, I don't get a holding slot. Cool. Oh, they're a protectorate. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Huh. I didn't think they were that weak. So at this point, pretty much wherever the uh, precursor, the Voltam home system shows up, Adjacent to our space, it's next to a friendly, or someone we can absorb if necessary. Maybe they need some orbitals too. Okay, emissary or governor. Hmm. It's interesting, the monthly cohesion thing. Or output stuff and amenities usage reduction, yeah. I 
I picked up a strong boy. From attack, presumably? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have plans for any offensive wars. Can I? Is that a policy I can switch? And then it'll take like 10 years before I can change it again. Do I really want to join this federation was a question I should have asked myself. I mean, but defensive wars, right? They're not... Do they start? Liberation Wars? I guess... We'll find out. It'll be interesting. See how it goes. Hopefully somebody in there is taking diplomacy and it'll like actually level up. Probably the rest of the Federation will vote against us. Oh, okay. Artisans? Neat. Um, they're already level 4. Oh, man. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. How does this work? I took a bunch of my naval cap. Um, my vassals don't count as members, I think. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, like, give them some time, and I wonder if they, they, they can majority kick me. That'd be funny if it's just, like, the current president who likes me. Um, we, we will probably use some of our Communications alert. Uh, starbase cap to build some anchorages, I guess. Insult? Oh, okay, fine. I should really be building anchorages, or, um, transit hubs over, like, the tomb worlds. Because I'm using them as pop theaters. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. What do we get here? Okay, so we can assign officials, no longer envoys. Okay. Yeah, and as cohesion rises, the uh, relative voting stuff changes. I don't know if we'll be able to actually like budge some of this stuff, though. We might end up leaving, Special but not the end complete. of the world. Technological acquisition successful. So we still have an extra envoy. I'm just, I'm thinking like, who is the strongest in the Federation who we would want to be on good terms with? Um, it's probably like, so these guys, 317, 979, or nine something. Six hundred. Yeah, we can improve relations with them.
We're gonna want the uh, the crime building here sooner or later. Do I have purification plants? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Energy is dropping again. I don't think I have naval logistics offices yet, so I guess transit hubs are okay. Okay, so that gave us a bunch of, yeah, little onesie deposits. Unanimous vote, war declaration. I mean, they're pacifists. Are they really going to declare war? Mm. It'll be fine, right? What could go wrong? Who is the president? Oh, it's the lizard then. Okay. Alert. Non standard space entity encountered. Special project complete. Okay, so then here's the rubricator system. Do I have a science ship close by? Um, I think I'm willing to cancel the habit to, to make sure I get the Relic World. Council agenda available. Okay, species stuff. Um, okay, so these, these, these gray ones, these are the advanced traits, and it's a really weird choice, I feel like, to make them that kind of gray color, because I thought they were kind of grayed out, like, but it's, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, here's the dark matter one. Huge, ridiculous. Um, this is kind of your erudite equivalent. That's your fertile equivalent. I guess this is your robust equivalent. Nurse stapled. Mineral and moats upkeep. That's kind of okay. I don't want to sp like specialize pops for particular jobs, really. Amenities usage minus 50% for living metal upkeep is an interesting idea as well. Um, and then there was that thing about. Uh, the adaptive forms where pops get modded faster and we have four points I guess that's that's not actually as good um, like the the modding thing versus just plus 60 percent to everything <laughs> hmm
What is my living middle income? Six. Um, and if... I'm just thinking, like, when we take this node, what happens? Um, 0.15 per replicator, minus a little bit from, like, prosperity. We've got 2, 4, 7, 10, 11, 13, 14, 17, 20, 23, 24, 24 replicators times about a sixth of a point. Yeah, so we're going to be, like, net neutral on living metal. So I don't think I want to add a trait that um, gives living metal upkeep as, as great as it might otherwise be. Um, <laughs> you know, likewise, if we have a 200 pops, 0 0.1, 0 0.01 points of dark matter, two dark matter per month, but I mean, you can, you can buy dark matter. We could buy living metal. Yeah, maybe we just do the simple thing. We'll probably get more points at some point, right? It Upkeep from all jobs minus 50%. Wow, that's quite a finisher too. I just I, I guess I just kind of want to see see the automatic thing in action. It's part of it. It's not optimal. But also, but also, when they nerf this dark matter thing, my economy won't have been built on top of it. So, there's that. And then with two points, um, I mean, with like one point and then dropping something else. Oh, we could get we could get bonus engineering research. Or unity to help speed out the rest of the traditions. Unity upkeep from jobs. What job has unity upkeep? Like overlord propagandist on vessels, maybe? Um hmm. Yeah, we like we can do engineering. Okay, there's the timer. Um, do I want to apply this on... I mean, on Tomb Worlds, it doesn't matter. The question really is, yeah, like that one... Um, world where we're... we're uh, oh. 20k engineering is quite a bit. And that's with the reduction. 5 years. Technological acquisition successful. A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. I don't actually have gas income, so I can't really use the uh, upgraded labs.
I'm a little surprised we haven't gotten like the uh, upgraded um monuments uh, sensorium sites yet. It's kind of surprising. Construction complete. I guess I could, like, hire a official to go hang out there. Level up another governor? Not a bad idea. Technological acquisition successful. This will push us forward. It's not really a bonus that we need, but it is higher tier. Council agenda ready. Oh, is there like a modularity agenda? There's synthetic age, which just gives us the text, or like progress on the guaranteed text, I guess. Hmm. Oh, here's, here's some dark matter. That's an energy orbital. Acquisition successful. Okay, yeah, maybe I should wrap this up. Um, we'll probably do antimatter. But yeah, so we joined the Fed. Um, I don't know whether that's a wise thing or not. I don't know. And subjugated these guys. I don't know what we'll do with them either. But yeah, so we we can we can yeah. Someone's knocking at my door. I'm not sure why, but thank you for watching.